Hello everyone, Fells45 here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set region flags, that is uh, greetings and farewells with World Edit and World Guard. That's the two plugins you're going to need. And uh, it's relatively easy. You can do some more advanced things with it, like setting uh, different colors in the text. You can have it notify admins and all this other cool stuff. But I'm just going to teach you the basics and maybe we can do the more advanced stuff later and uh, for the YouTube staff that is reviewing this video for uh, monetization and all that good stuff I do have express written permission from everything used in this video the independent music producer and uh, Mojang or Mojang producers or publishers of Minecraft and creators and all that good stuff so full commercialization rights <laughs> just had to say that I've been getting some random denied videos recently so it's been kinda crazy Okay, so I'm going to show you an example. I have a dirty old cabin here, and I'm going to open it up, and ooh, filthy old cabin. Welcome to my filthy, ugly, deplorable excuse of a home. And that's my greeting message, and when I leave it, it's going to say, what? Why'd you leave my disgusting cabin? Because it's gross. So, <laughs> it's not that bad. It's a little cute and cozy, but, um, so that's just an example of what you can do, and I will show you how to do that. I'm, I think I'm going to build... Uh, kind of like a spawn area like this will be the spawn and that will be like the rule section they have to walk through so it'll have two doorways and when they get in it'll say please read the rules and when you walk out it'll say I hope you read the rules because if you're a server owner um, you know that a lot of people don't read the rules so <laughs> I just want to make them feel a little bad and I'm not going to spend too much time on this um, let's just slap something together here Uh, let's just make that cobble. I'm too lazy. And you can do this for any size region, really. But it is important that you define the proper size. Otherwise, uh, if you only do... Uh, hmm, I guess I'll give an example once I'm done with this... Uh, Shoddy roof, roof, whatever. Oh, I'm at the height limit. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here is what not to do. I don't have my world edit UI on right now, but you, I'll just give you an example. Uh, don't select a flat region, because right now, that would only mean that, yes, I'm very high in the air. So <laughs> that region would only be like this. So if we hit this this block and that block uh, and try to set flags, it wouldn't say anything because you would have to be in this block, which is down there. So obviously your users aren't going to be in the ground. So rather than s clicking um, just the ground, you want to do a cuboid. So it would be here and over here. So this whole area is going to be encompassed. And it's usually good to do... And give a little compensation there. Um, so I left click that block there. And go up here. And I want to do enough room. So I'm going to right click that block there. So now it's a cube. It's diagonal there. Hopefully you know how to use World Guard. Otherwise that's going to make this pretty complicated. But you want to make it tall because if I only made it up to here, if the users jumped, they would be outside of the region and then it would just be spamming their screen. It would be like, welcome, goodbye, welcome, goodbye, welcome, goodbye. <laughs> we don't want that. So this way, if they jump, it doesn't matter. It's going to show up. They have to leave the area for it to show up again. So um, let's go ahead and define the region because you can't set flags for a region that doesn't exist. And again, this can be for any size region, I believe any shape as well, uh, if you're a more advanced user. So you want to do forward slash region, define, and let's make this something simple, hero kind of makes sense because they're logging onto the server. So this is our hero region. Um, if you have string, you can test that. That's our hero, and this is not. That's hero, and this is not. So now we need to set our flags. It's forward slash region, and region only has one forward slash. Uh, world edit usually uses two forward slashes, but this is world guard, so region space flag. And then you want to do the ID of the region, and we did hero, and you want to type greeting. 
so region flag the region we are editing the type of flag we're using which is a greeting space and then whatever you want it to say when people enter this region and I'm gonna say please read the rules because <laughs> no I don't know what please read the rules that's all I'm gonna say I was trying to think of something clever to make them resent me I don't know <laughs> so there we go it should say please read the rules but it doesn't say anything when we leave so we need to create a farewell tag and that's done very similar we do region flag the region ID and instead of greeting we're gonna do farewell that's F A R E W E L L and you can say whatever you want hopefully the rules or prepare for the ban hammer okay farewell set so I enter read the rules blah 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 and if I don't hopefully you read the rules or prepare for the ban hammer uh, and you can change the color for those if you know the color codes you can look them up on skate 9 qs wiki which is who is uh, the creator of this amazing plugin that nearly every server uses so um, yeah if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below but if you follow this tutorial step by step you should be able to do this all on your own very easily so thanks for watching guys and I will catch you next time <laughs>